Producers spend so much money on plugins, but if you're a Logic Pro user, you already have a ton of free plugins at your disposal. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about six Logic Pro stock plugins that people do not talk about enough. Big thank you to those who voted for this video on the community tab. If you have any other types of videos you wanna see, Comment them down below and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss these videos as they come out. First on the list, Space Designer. Now, before you say, bro, everyone knows about Space Designer, I just wanna say, yes, probably. But I don't think that most people use it in the way that I'm about to describe. On top of being a very flexible yet straightforward reverb, Space Designer also allows you to import custom IRs or impulse responses. A lot of people use IRs for capturing the response of a guitar cabinet or maybe a room, but the way I like to use them from time to time is to record DI acoustic guitars. For example, there have been times when I wanted to record an acoustic track for a song, but didn't have a great mic set up at the time, or maybe I was in a bit of a crunch to finish one of my songs and the acoustic track wasn't a heavy hitter in the overall arrangement. I could just grab my quarter inch, record the direct signal of my acoustic and apply an IR that is essentially a capture of a mic'd acoustic guitar. So you can then open up Space Designer, click on the file name and I always do load IR and initialize which basically resets any adjustments that you made since you're starting from scratch with a new file. Then I load in the IR that I've downloaded. These are from worship tutorials or they may all be under signal theory now. From here, all I need to do is turn the wet volume all the way up and the dry volume all the way down. Then I personally like to add a bit of compression, EQ, and a bit of room reverb. That will take it from sounding like this. To sounding like this. Next, we have the IO plugin. It took me forever to actually utilize this, but it can be a lot of fun while also being a handy utility tool. There are a lot of uses for this. Probably the most common is using it to route a signal through your DAW into external hardware and back into your DAW. Another cool way of using this is if you have maybe a virtual instrument of some sort that you wanna run through a physical amp or guitar pedals. You could do that easily by setting the input and output accordingly. It's just one of those tools that is purely utility, but at the same time opens the door for flexibility and experimentation anywhere in the process from songwriting to mastering. Now let's talk chord trigger. This is a cool one because not only can you, you know, trigger chords, but you can also do things like trigger octaves or transpose. If you're not super familiar with chord trigger, you can either select one of the included presets or customize it yourself and use one key to trigger an entire chord. Now I'm a fairly seasoned pianist, but I still like to use this for experimentation or to complement what I'm actually playing. Maybe I wanna add a lower octave to what my left hand is doing for some added depth, or I wanna add some fifths to play some parts that would otherwise be very difficult to play. You may even just want to experiment with the presets for songwriting purposes and play out entire chords. It's just cool that a stock plugin can turn this into this. Another thing that people don't talk enough about is my free Logic Pro template. This is a stock variation of the template that I use to start every session, featuring color-coded organization, routing, and even some sounds that I like to use on my tracks. If you wanna check it out, I'll put a link in the description of this video. Next on the list is the Multimeter plugin. You could go buy Isotope Insight for $200, or you could just use Multimeter for free. This thing lives on my stereo output, but you can honestly use it however you want. It has a frequency analyzer to get a visual idea of any imbalances in your mix, a goniometer for checking phase in the stereo spectrum, level and loudness meters, and you can really dial in the parameters to have it read exactly how you'd want it to. I had a Pro Tools buddy ask about what metering plugin I use because he was looking to buy one, and I was just like, uh, you could just, Biologic Pro and get the one that I use, but 
I haven't quite converted him yet. Another underrated stock plugin is Amp Designer. I think Amp Designer has really evolved over the years, or maybe I just didn't pay enough attention to it for a while, but it's pretty sick. I think there are about 26 amps to choose from at the moment, and you can set an amp and cab separately. Not only do you have the parameters you'd expect to see on an amp, like EQ, gain and effects, but you can also move the virtual mic around similar to how you'd be able to when miking a physical cab. It can take your DI signal from sounding like this to sounding like this. Then we have step effects, which I haven't even fully tapped into the potential of this plugin because it's just that powerful. You have all of these different effects right in front of you and each effect can be reordered in the signal chain or turned off completely. The filter, gate, and pan can each be independently affected by their own step modulator, making it really easy to either experiment with unique sounds or do something simple like a side chain pumping effect, taking something that sounds like this, and making it sound like this. I hope that if nothing else, this can show you what kind of value you have built into Logic Pro for no additional charge. I don't talk about it enough, but I truly think that Logic Pro is the best DAW out there in terms of value. But what stock plugins did I miss? Definitely let me know down in the comments. Also, if you got any value out of this video, would you consider hitting that like button and subscribing if you haven't already? I truly appreciate it. After you do that, check out this video right here. And as always, thanks for hanging out.